Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I've got a recipe that I found on another vegan channel, The Vegan Corner, that I want to try out today. It's uh, an Italian vegan channel, and I love bread. So he's got a recipe for authentic Italian focaccia that's super simple. It's only a few ingredients. I'm going to make it on my channel as an experiment, but if you um, want to check out his channel, it's The Vegan Corner. That's where I got the recipe from. So it's very simple, like I said, it's three cups of flour in the bowl here. Then you take a quarter teaspoon of yeast and you whisk that in. He also said um, salt was optional. He doesn't use it, but I happen to like salt in my bread, so you can use up to a teaspoon. I'm gonna use a quarter of a teaspoon. So then he whisked together the flour and the yeast. And I guess the salt. He didn't use salt though, but like I said, I am. And then uh, there's only one other ingredient that um, you need to put in before you bake it. Well, that's not true. You have to put the herbs on top. <laughs> but I mean, um, only one other ingredient that you put in before you let it rise. And that is water. So it's one and a quarter cups of water and then two extra tablespoons. So you just put that all in and then you mix it. You don't have to knead this at all after you let it rise. You just make sure that it's really well mixed and once it's completely mixed you have to let this rise for 12 to 18 hours. A minimum of 12 hours, a maximum of 18 hours. So when this is all mixed up I'm going to put a um, piece of plastic wrap on the top and just let that sit and through the magic of video we will be back and you will see it all, all right, guys this is what mine looks like after oops 24 hours you're only supposed to let it sit for a maximum of 18 but I had no choice because I was out shopping so this is after 24 hours I'm going to take this and scrape it out of the bowl into my um, stoneware dish here that I've lined with some parchment paper and then I'll show you what to do with that. Alright, I scraped it into the dish here. I've wet my fingers and I poked my hands in, you know, because focaccia has those big indentations in it. Uh, he, the vegan corner had a list of spices that he uses. I'm using uh, this Italian pasta seasoning that I got at the farm store. I wet it uh, in a little bit of water and I worked it in, I pushed no. it in where the indentations were. No. Now I'm getting ready to put it in the oven. I'm going to preheat my oven, I believe it's to 430 degrees, and then I will pop it in there covered. Okay, I've got it all sealed up here. It's going in for 30 minutes, and then after 30 minutes I'm going to take it out and remove the aluminum foil and cook it for another 10 minutes. Alright guys, the bread is out of the oven and cooled off and I'm about ready to slice it here. It looks amazing, does it not? Mm -hmm. Why don't you show it? <laughs> there it is! I'm not exactly sure how to slice this. I guess like this would be good. Wow, look at that. It's nice and crusty on the outside. Thank you. And it's still nice and soft on the inside. My camera person wants, mm, wants bread. I guess we're going to be making this a lot because from the sound of that mmm, it sounds like a winner. What do you think? Is it a winner? Mm -hmm. Even without butter or anything? Mm -hmm. Alright then, there you have it. Make sure you guys go check out the Vegan Corner. And this recipe is on there. I'll put a link in the bottom bar. And until next time, much love. Edit.